Don't go into the light. The shadows are way too harsh and your headshot is going to look terrible. Welcome to DIY in 5, everyone. My name is Trisha Hirschberger, and today we are going to show you five ways to use natural light to make your photographs look as glorious as possible. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to give us a like and then subscribe for more. When taking photos, sunlight can be tricky. While the sun is our greatest source of light in photography, direct sunlight can really make pictures look terrible. Direct sunlight can wreak havoc on highlights and skin tones and generally make many photos unusable. Instead of fighting the sun, get creative with it. Try having your subject stand between you and the sun to create a cool silhouette. Or if you're more into architecture, try shooting direct sunlight as it bounces off a building to create some cool effects. If you're in Southern California like us or any other place with a cloudless sky, you might need to rely on open shade for your outdoor photographs. Think of open shade as indirect sunlight that brings enough ambient light to create a nice, soft effect similar to an overcast day. You'll generally find this lighting under large tree canopies, open alleys, under overpasses, or other similar spots. It has all the benefits of lots of natural light without any of the drawbacks of blown out images and harsh shadows. If you're shooting portraits, then an overcast day might be perfect for you. With a fully overcast day, the light is softened, giving your subject a nice, even light. The benefit to shooting on an overcast day is you can shoot anywhere without worrying about harsh shadows. It gives you the ability to photograph in places you wouldn't normally be able to with direct sunlight. One of the oldest tricks in a photographer's handbook is to use reflected light, but how many of us actually own a reflector? Good news. A reflector can be anything from a large white surface like a piece of cardboard, all the way to a professional reflector that's portable and great for folding up and keeping with your gear. Most of the time you'll have light coming in from a single direction, so using a reflector on the opposite side of the subject you can bounce light back on them to create a more even appearance. Yes, thank you, perfect. Uh -huh. Now we can't talk about using natural light in photography without mentioning the magic hour. Dun da da da! Generally speaking, the very first hour and last hour of daylight have the most dramatic lighting and can create some really cool effects. Shadows from the sun will be longer as the sun sits lower in the sky. There's also a unique set of colors the sky creates during the golden hour and you could use that to your advantage. Now that natural lighting is your friend and not your enemy, get your photography on! Let us know your photo questions in the comments below if we didn't answer them all. And if we did, give us a like and subscribe for more DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and uh, I'm actually going to jet because it looks like it's almost magic hour. Bye bye